Hello, my name's Lauren, and I'm going to be sharing a story with you about an astronaut who goes on a mission to the International Space Station. Are you ready to come on a space adventure? Let's go. This is our friend, the astronaut. The astronaut needs our help on a mission to get to the International Space Station. The International Space Station is a home in space where astronauts and cosmonauts live and do experiments. There's enough room on the International Space Station for six people and some visitors. How will the astronaut get into space? In a rocket. What materials would you use to build a rocket? Rockets are made of metals that are strong and lightweight, like aluminium or titanium. This means that the rockets can go fast enough to lift off into space. The astronaut's rocket has three parts. Do you know what they are? A rocket needs a body where the engine is, fins, and a nose cone. Now the rocket is built, we can get ready to launch. It's very, very cold in space, but you can also get burnt by the sun. So astronauts wear spacesuits to protect their bodies. Have you got your spacesuit? Let's all put on our imaginary spacesuits. There's no air in space, so astronauts also wear helmets so that they can breathe and to protect their eyes from the light from the sun. Let's put our space helmets on. Now we're ready to go to space. Everyone stand up and reach your arms over your head like a rocket. The astronaut needs your help to launch the rocket. We're going to count down and then stamp our feet to make the rocket go. Ready to start the countdown? Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Wow, we launched the rocket into space. It's very dark, but you can see lots and lots of stars. Too many to count. The closest star to us is the sun. The sun gives us light and heat to warm our planet Earth. Some of the other stars we can see are part of a galaxy called the Milky Way. If you look up at the sky on a really clear night, you might be able to see the Milky Way. The stars in the Milky Way swirl in an amazing spiral shape. Can you draw a spiral shape? Try drawing a big spiral in front of you. Start from the center and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Our solar system is also part of the Milky Way. Do you know how many planets are in our solar system? Let's count them together. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight planets. Which planet is your favorite? The astronaut's favorite planet is Saturn. If you look at Saturn with a telescope, you can see it has bright rings around it, a bit like a hula hoop. Can you hula hoop like Saturn's rings? Saturn's rings are made of ice and rocks, some rocks as big as a car. Whoa! A piece of space junk hit the rocket. Have you heard of space junk? Just like humans create a lot of rubbish on Earth, we've also left a lot of things floating in space. The problem with space junk is it moves really, really fast and can damage our spaceships and satellites. Are you okay, astronaut? Oh, 
Oh dear, the space junk has broken the door of the rocket. What things can the astronaut find in the rocket to fix the door? Hmm, some string. No, too thin. What else have we got? Aha, some paper. Oh, uh, no, too flimsy. Aha! A banana? No. Ah, some aluminium foil. That might work. Measure it out. Now we just need something to stick it down. Ooh, some space tape. The astronaut fixed the door with some space sticky tape and aluminium foil. Oh, we're nearly at the space station. What do you think Earth would look like from the International Space Station? The Earth has a lot of ocean. What colour is the ocean? Oh, it's blue. The Earth looks blue from the International Space Station and you can see the white clouds floating past. There it is! We've made it to the International Space Station. It's time for the astronaut to go on a spacewalk. A spacewalk is where an astronaut goes outside a spaceship to test equipment or do science experiments. What qualities do you think an astronaut needs for these tricky missions? I think they need to be brave, a leader, and good at solving problems. When you think of an astronaut, what do they look like? Our astronaut follows other amazing people like Jessica Meyer, Christina Cook, Naoko Yamazaki, Sunita Williams, and more. Would you like to go to space like these astronauts? Or maybe you'd like to build and fix things like rockets. Oh no, the astronaut's helmet must have been broken when the space junk hit the rocket. Can you make the astronaut a new helmet? The helmet needs to be strong to protect the astronaut's head and they need to be able to see out of it. I hope you enjoyed the story today. It's time to go with your grown up and make a helmet for the astronaut with things that you can find. Try to test different materials and see what will make the best space helmet. Good luck with your mission. Bye.